Welcome back to Little Grain Bonds. Today we'll be discussing a spinal condition called kyphosis. So if you've ever wondered what causes an exaggerated curve of the back to have a bit of a hunchback appearance, that's what kyphosis is. So we shall talk about what it is, what causes it, how it's treated. So what is kyphosis? Kyphosis refers to an excessive outward curve of the spine, usually in the upper back. So this gives the appearance of a rounded or a hunched posture. While some degree of curvature is normal, kyphosis becomes a concern when it is pronounced enough to cause discomfort, restrict motion, or affect the appearance. Let's talk about the causes of kyphosis. There are several potential causes of kyphosis. And these include, it could be posture kyphosis. So often it's caused by poor posture. This is the most common type. It's usually reversible. Two is showman's kyphosis. It's a structural condition that develops during adolescence due to wedge-shaped vertebra. Another is osteoporosis. So weakening of the bones, particularly in the older people, can lead to spinal fractures and kyphosis. Then there is congenital kyphosis. So it's a rare kind, and this one presents at birth. It's normally due to abnormal spinal development. Kyphosis can also come around because of other conditions like arthritis, spina bifida, muscular dystrophy, and so many more. Now, what are some of the signs and symptoms of kyphosis? So how do you know if you might have a kyphosis? The common symptoms include a visible roundedness or a hunched upper back. They could also have back pain and stiffness, especially after standing or sitting for long periods of time. Sometimes they could complain about fatigue. Uh, so as the muscles and ligaments work harder to maintain a posture, it can predispose to that. In very severe cases, there could be difficulty breathing. How do we diagnose kyphosis? Like very many conditions, kyphosis is diagnosed um, after a thorough medical history and examination by the doctor. In the investigations, normally an x-ray is good enough to tell us um, the structure of the bones and to help us know what is the cause of the kyphosis. Other investigations like an MRI and CT scan can also play a role in some events. Let's talk about the treatment of kyphosis. The good news is that there are several treatments available for treatment of kyphosis. But this depends on the severity and the underlying cause. So let's go over both the non-surgical and the surgical treatment. In the non-surgical options, we have one, physical therapy. So exercises to strengthen and stretch the upper back and to improve posture are present. And these can also be employed in tactics to reduce pain. The other is bracing. So for adolescents with Schumann's sky forces, wearing a brace can help prevent the curve from worsening. Thirdly is pain management, so sometimes over-the-counter medications, use of uh, heat packs, ice packs, and lifestyle adjustments can also help alleviate the discomfort as a result of, can also help alleviate the, the discomfort as a result of the kyphosis. Another option is posture training, so learning proper posture through techniques like yoga and ergonomic adjustments or physiotherapy treatment tailored to posture can be very helpful and posture kyphosis can be very helpful in the treatment of posture kyphosis. So these methods are effective for mild or moderate cases. However, for severe kyphosis or cases causing significant symptoms, they may require surgical intervention. So the surgery is typically recommended for very severe kyphosis that doesn't respond to the non-operative options. And some of the procedures done to correct include things like spinal fusion. So in spinal fusion, they fuse specific vertebra or specific bones in the back to correct the alignment of the back. So let's talk about the potential complications of these treatment options. If braces are used, sometimes they're uncomfortable and they may affect daily activities. Talking about surgery, surgery always comes with risks, things like infection, injury to the nerves and blood vessels, and complications from anesthesia. There's also a, there's also a recovery period during which mobility may be limited. So thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit, uh, share experiences or questions about kyphosis in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. So until next time, keep it on little green bones.